Hi, everybody. We're in Edmonton, where the Oilers won five Stanley Cups in the 1980s, and they are hungry for more. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Oilers will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. There's a collision with some authority. Harley's moving the puck through his own zone. Makes his presence known on the ice. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the board from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Nugent Hopkins has won the draw. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Scores! And I guess they won't need that power play after all. Well, it's a delayed call, and it almost looks as that the defensive structure collapses. And man, do they take advantage. Oh, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to out-battle, you got to out-will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. Dallas has the game's first goal. They look good these early minutes here. What are they doing that you like here, Cheryl? Well, I love the mindset. It's not sit back, it's attack. And you may be in someone else's barn, and that's fine. But you want to send a clear message that you're in this to play, and they've done that at the onset of this period. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. He to the middle, and that's intercepted. Harley's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbled, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Slides the puck across to Nugent Hopkins. Taken along the wall by Nurse. Puck scooped up by Nugent Hopkins. The Stars gain control of the puck. The Oilers win it in the defensive zone. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Two goals in right around a minute 40. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Dallas continues to lead by a pair of goals. Edmonton's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Quick feed to Perry. Fires it. Oh, tremendous stop on the play. Feeds the puck to Lindell. Through center along the wing. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the puck across to McLeod. On the attack along the boards. And he gets in front of that. Possession after he takes a little hit. Dallas with possession in their own zone. Takes a shot. Oh, that save. Tremendous agility there by Skinner. Quick feed to Bouchard. From off the wall and onto a stick. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. The Stars take over on possession. Moves it to Hackenpah. Feeds it over to Ben. The Oilers gain possession. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Brown. Ottinger's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. Dallas has taken possession off the draw on their own end. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Here they come. Shot! Whistle blown, stopping the play. 
The Oilers have been handed two for interference. unit strike here guys let's see if he can use his own ability to help them get a good look here off the drone he ties up his opponent dallas gains control of the puck and that doesn't reach the net centering feed great defensive heads up play to pick it off and tries to make a diagonal pass to yanmar Slow down, James, and it's all about patience and composure, outweighting the goaltender, finding the room and burying it. He's in on a breakaway, and some guys know exactly what they want to do, and some guys take what's given, but what a shot that is. He had no chance. Dallas has had multiple chances here in this first, and they have capitalized. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Stars take possession here in the open ice. Sends it in front. Picked off in front. And now it's over to Eckholm. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Denies him again. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. McDavid's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Dallas is in the offensive zone. A chance in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Stuffs him again. Wait, they're signaling a goal. It, it looked like he had it, but it looks like they're signaling. Oh, this is definitely a goal that they'll want back, James. I mean, two huge things went wrong. You have a gaping mistake in terms of your coverage and also managing the puck. You gotta do both if you wanna get the puck out of your zone. The Stars have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. The Oilers win the faceoff. And they can't connect. And we're going to get a face off after the offside. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Dallas has added to their lead. They're now up by four. It's looking like a blowout now. Scooped up along the wall by Kane. Skinner's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got high feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Way too much congestion blocks that. Takes the bank feed. Stops that one. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Great reflexes, another save. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Misses the net. And they come away with possession here in their own end. And they skate it out of the zone. Dallas plays it against the boards. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied. And that's what happened there. Makes a save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. 50, 50. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they'll dump it in. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Passes the puck over to McDavid. Here's a feed in front. And he denies that. Great opportunity there. Pucks it away at his own end. Puck grabbed by Duchesne. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Grabbed along the boards by Delandria. Sends it quickly to Hyman. Grabs control of it at the point. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. 
Robertson's dangerous when he shoots pucks that are flat and settled on the ice. His snipe zone ability is that accuracy from having full control of the puck. McDavid's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. Now, as I send it back upstairs, I'll be watching out for one of these players to give their team a chance to win tonight. Moves it quickly over to Fogel. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Big save by the goaltender once again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Dallas plays the puck along the boards. Angles it over to McLeod. Moves it to the middle. And it goes off a stick and off target. And that's blocked. The Stars have it now. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Sends the cross ice pass. They fight for it along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Stan Coven. Dallas has it in the open ice. Oh, wow, what a pad saved by Skinner. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Dumps the puck in. The Stars gain possession along the wall. From center, they get into the attacking area. Big stop right there. Quick pass to Stan Coben. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. He might have a step here. Is it all? in great play from start to finish as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack and then it's all about the execution when you're one-on-one -on -one with a goaltender you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move the Oilers have been hammered in this opening frame but they finally pushed back here looks like a lack of preparation starting this game but as that pushback comes you can see they're resetting they have to use that goal as the reset button refocus and find a way to get back to their game plan he got all that hit. The Stars have it against the wall. Smith's taking it from his own end. From the neutral zone now. Harley's got the puck. Taken by Steele. Chance for the pass. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You got to believe he's going to be looking for the Hattie. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. More than half the frame has been played here. The Stars have a four-goal lead. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Pushes it across to Tanev. to McDavid. Moves it over to Dreisaitl. Great balance as he scoops it back up. The Stars gain possession in their own end. With some open space at center. Handles the pass. Edmonton's gained the line and into the zone. Here's a shot. Denies him. The Oilers have the puck along the line. Oh, a clutch save. Look at this attack here in the end zone. Here's a shot. That's off target. Oh, monstrous hit right there. Quick shot. Walker saving a good one at that. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. The Oilers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, a huge opportunity for this team to get their first power play opportunity. And who comes out? Their top unit to ignite. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Poked away at center by Nurse. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. you got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. Puck 
behind the net. Hyman's gained the line and on the attack. Good hit to knock the puck loose. And now he moves it quickly to Duchesne. Great heads up play with the stick by CeCe. The Oilers played along the boards. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Ottinger's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Here in the late goings of the period, the Stars lead it by a score of 5-1. Their offense came to play in a big way tonight. McLeod's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Picked up along the boards by Brown. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And it's a quick pass to Lindell. Gaining momentum along the boards. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Good heads up play with the bank pass. Dallas now has a short power play with their penalty expired. Quick feed to Pavelski. And they'll go the other way with it. For the comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. Scores! They'll get those rally kicks on. Now everyone's going to need that one on. It's going to be a team collective contribution if they want to get back in this one, but it all starts with one goal. If it's there, find a way to get another one quickly. You never know. Certainly down, but not out completely yet. Edmonton's down, but not out. They've had chances, they just haven't capitalized. The Oilers win the draw. Moves it to McLeod. Moves it around along the half wall. Shot! It's in! He scores! The third goal is just 20 seconds apart. Well, buckle up, everybody. We're setting up for an exciting finish now. Now, this is entertaining. You can feel one side. They're starting to squeeze their sticks pretty tight, James. The setters glide towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. Duchesne's won the draw here in the open ice. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. And he takes the pass. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Comes up with the stop. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Late goings of this period. The Oilers are down a pair. Nugent Hopkins quick on the draw. Slides the puck to Yanmark. And he takes the feed. The Stars have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Puck picked up by Hintz. Here's a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Sharp angle shot. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. Both teams had a chance to recharge and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Quite the display of heavy artillery in the opening frame. Let's see if it carries over here in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Ottinger is the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he has been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Lots of time left in this period. Up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. Huge steal in his own end. Taken along the wall by Heiskanen. Now he takes it over the line. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Feeds it on over to McDavid. And that's knocked away by Harley. Here's a short pass to CeCe. Crabs it with the glove. What an incredible save in a high-danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. 
Edmonton's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Dallas is across the line and on the attack. And that's off a stick. Slides the puck to Yanmark. And now it's grabbed by Nugent Hopkins. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Slides it over with pace to Delandria. Puck scooped up by Marchman. Takes the feed. Goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Takes the feed from the wing. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Feeds the puck across to Nugent Hopkins. Moves it quickly over to Ben. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Sent into the offensive zone. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Gets the puck in deep. McLeod's had an impressive night so far. I mean, he's had a multiple point night, creating a ton of offense. And you know that he's not done yet. Centering to the middle. Can't connect the play. Quick pass to Tanev. Dallas plays it along the wing. Quick pass to McLeod. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Stars have it now. And he slides it quickly to Hintz. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Quick feed down low. Scrum along the wall. Dallas slides the puck behind the net. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to Kulak. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Harley. The Stars move to the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Denied with the blocker. Tosses it to Duchesne. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Knocked away with the stick by Harley. Oh, it's a thunderclap and knocks him off the puck. That's gloved by Skinner. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's a two-goal game with a 5-3 score. Edmonton's taking possession in their own end. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Nice dish from the left wing. Right away. Oh, to eyes him on the play. Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Seidel's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Shooting through traffic is an art, James. Not everyone can do it. You got to find a way to get the puck through. And when you have players that have the IQ and the shot, this is exactly what you do on your power play. You get it up high, and then you shoot the puck. But you need net front presence. You need hard, physical bodies in front to be able to collect the rebound and bury it. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Moves it quickly over to Eckholm. The Stars gain control of the puck. Pavelski's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Stars! And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. 
I just love the way he's dangling in tight spaces here, James. He knows how to create space for himself and just enough to get to the goaltender and finish it off. Dallas makes it a three-goal hockey game after that last score. And sometimes you're playing really well and you're not putting in, and sometimes you're playing terrible and you're finding a way to get it to the back of the net. That's the case right here. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Well, some players are just glue players. They make everyone around them better, and he is one of those, James. I mean, his ability to create and pass the puck is unbelievable. He knows where everyone is on the ice. He can manipulate coverage, and that pass is just a clear display of his skill. Edmonton's got one back. Now can they get themselves another? They're going to be able to if they do one thing, and that is attack and drive the coverage back. And if you do that, you find ways to get shots through to the net. Handles a pass from the right wing. Puck grab by Hintz. Quick pass to Steele. Dallas has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Edmonton's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Tears it off! Makes the save on the slapper! Slides it across to Smith. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Right up Main Street and on the attack. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Smith's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Slip feed. Here's a chance. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And he coughs it up with the pass. Oh, brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. And he keeps that one out. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the face off. Dallas wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Turned aside with the glove by Skinner. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Heiskanen's a great skater, and even when he's skating backwards, guys, he uses his in-reverse zone ability to turn around and face the puck carrier while he's backing it up. Taken by Heiskanen. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Scooped up along the wall by Duchesne. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Passes it over to Duchesne. The Stars take it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Edmonton's effort at some point has to pay off. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they still trail in this one. Hins wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Snagged with the glove by Skinner. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. And they win the draw here in their own end. Quick feed to Kulak. Edmonton's on the attack. Takes the shot. Stones him on the one-timer. Drives to the crease. Oh, wow, stops the game. They are really poured on the pressure here. And now he tries to get it across to Robertson. Right in front. It's in. He scores. Well, you know, 
he's worked a lot on this in practice because his hands are an extension of his body here, James. He knows how to manipulate his opponent. He dangles his way to the net, and he doesn't miss. Dallas continues to widen the gap here in this hockey game tonight. We're only in the second, but look at the scoreboard now, Cheryl. And the body language says that all of their opponent, they are completely deflated and don't have an answer for the arsenal that's coming at them. Moves it to Pavelski. Sends it in front. Picked off in front. Levels him with the hit. Dallas has it. Moves it on over to Pavelski. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Penalty coming up here. Hints will serve two for tripping. Dreisaitl's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Oilers win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Dallas gets a hold of the puck shorthanded. Grabbed along the boards by Johnston. Sends it into the offensive zone. Feeds the puck up to Hyman. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And that's off a stick. He might have a step here. He's in. Oh, no. He scores. Oh, that was gorgeous. Well, this breakaway is perfectly executed. on their opportunities. It's a reason why they hold the lead. Here's a short pass to McLeod. A big stop by the goaltender right in front. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Good heads-up play to sneak in there on the tie-up and come up with the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Foul along the wall. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Edmonton's in now. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Here's a chance! Let's go! James. Yeah, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play, and as a result, they score. Edmonton's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. Puck picked up by Lindell. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Great positioning in the defensive end. Edmonton's across the blue line. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And down he goes as the puck goes free. The Oilers gain possession. Oh, look at this chance. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Robertson's got it along the wing. Fires it on net, and there's the save. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. The Stars are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Yeah. 
I expect that they'll go with the exact same formation that they were successful on earlier, James. An umbrella power play set. We have three up high and really are using the top of the offensive zone. You want to draw the coverage out. And then you can look for cross seams and perhaps dive down and really attack the net. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Poked away by Johnston. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. And he takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Shot! And he's got that one. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close, quick. Two on one, here we go! What a play, that's how you do it on defense. Shot! A shot! Oh, what a great glove save on the play! Faxa's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Off the draw, they take possession. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Here's a chance! Oh, what a stop with the glove by Ottinger. Dreisaitl's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here at this man advantage. And now he moves it quickly to Dreisaitl. And that's poked away by Lindell. Russ arms in the air, we got a penalty coming up. There's the whistle and here's the call. Now you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. Edmonton's got a five on three, but not a lot of time to work with. They've got to attack and drive. They've still got an opportunity to hit strike, not just once, but possibly twice. They've got to find a way to get it to the net. And chuck that one out of the net. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Pavelski's back out onto the ice, and they will continue to play shorthanded here. Nice feed from the right wing. Takes the pass from the left wing. Let's move to the middle. And that's stopped. Let's it fly from the point. And that's blocked away. Well, he's really feeling a play from earlier on the shift, James, and now he's wincing on his way back to the bench. He's going to need some assistance here to get off the ice. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. The cloud's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Edmonton salivating with a five-on-three power play. The Stars win the defensive zone faceoff. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Picked up along the wall by Ekholm. And now it's to Dreisaitl. Fires it! Gives them nothing in front. What an incredible glove saved by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Dallas has taken possession off the draw on their own end. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. He says, let's get physical on that play. Takes a shot. Big save just as time runs out. And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. While, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store. And we've got the third period coming up in moments.
Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and vlogs on our team website, Harry's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Ottinger's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. McDavid's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. He's got a little jump. He's in the clear! And he makes the save with ease. Skinner's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. An opportunity for some power play time now as he scores. Well, how's that for killing a penalty? That's turning the PK into a power kill, James. Not just shooting it down the ice. You have time and space. Take advantage with the short. Coaches are always harping on pass execution well this is a clear example when the pass is crisp and it's on the tape it's on the money it finds the back of the net Edmonton's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight if only they could start that way hey James no but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out takes it to the net As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Nugent Hopkins slides into the face-off dud, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. The Oilers have it now. Harley's got the puck in his own zone. Looking to set up offensively. And sends it just out of reach. Loose puck battle along the boards. Quick pass across to Marchman. Ten seconds. Hyman's almost ready to get back on the ice. And the puck's kicked free. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Scores! He gets the shot off from those coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Stars continue to ring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players. And this is critical when you're in a long season. Pot's moving pretty slowly out there. Really looks shaken up. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Dreisaitl's got it in the defensive end. Tried to get 2 Q with it and loses possession. McDavid's trying to break move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight. Trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and we lost possession. And there's a whistle after that big-time shot. I think it busted the glass. Yeah, it didn't shatter, though. It's amazing today with the new technology of the sticks and the way these players shoot the puck that it didn't just blast and shatter and explode. Instead, it's a crack, so the maintenance crew will come out and they'll just replace the panel. Edmonton's had a lot of good looks on goal, but they still trail early in the third. McDavid's quick stick off the draw wins possession. The Oilers move it ahead. 
Slides it on over to Pavelski. The Stars play along the boards. Taken along the wall by Hackenpah. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Brown's got it across the line. Quick feed to Robertson. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it to McLeod. And the puck departs the zone. Dallas takes hold of the puck. Works it across to Heiskanen. And that's intercepted by Nurse. Gaining steam here on the attack. Stones him with the blocker. Back to the point it goes. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Ben. Harley's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Oh, what a save! He stopped him! Wow. Yeah, no. Oh, that's an intangible yeah. effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And these fans are still guessing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Edmonton's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. Big time stop! Picked up along the boards by Kane. Cuts to the paint! Here's a short pass to Ben. Dallas looks to break out in their own end. Edmonton's got the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Slides it diagonally to Marchman. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Moves it quickly over to Suter. That was amazing! What a save by Skinner! Quick pass to Hyman. Slides it out in front! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Delandria's got the puck along the wing. Puts it on there with the stop. And now it's grabbed by Dreisaitl. Quick feed to Hyman. Slides the puck over. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Ottinger's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. A compass across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. They go on the attack through center. Can't pull the trigger. Tries to feed it over to Duchesne. Feeds it to Delandria. Great reach with the poke check. Puck scooped up by Hyman. Here's a chance on the attack. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. The Oilers have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. The Stars win the draw on their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. Nurse has got it behind his own net. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's the pass in front, and that's intercepted. Sends a pass over. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Takes the feed. Here's a shot, and he was ready for that one. The Stars have it against the wall. Robertson's lugging the puck. Quick shot. Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Tosses it on to Cece. Takes the pass. And he turned that one aside. Scooped up along the wall by Cece. Moves it to Yanmar. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Sends the pass over. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. They put the puck into the offensive end. Nurse is stick handling in his own zone. And now he passes it to Cece. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Dallas has it in their own zone. And it's a quick pass to Johnston. From point blank. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. 
Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. Oh, what a save on the slapper! Here's a short pass to Eckholm. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action, and that's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Puck grabbed by Bouchard. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Here's the official call. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Edmonton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. James, although they've executed today, they certainly haven't been excellent on the power play. Have to find a way to be consistent, get that puck moving, be crisp, execute, and drive the lanes. And a strong effort on that play. Ottinger's made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a grade-A scoring area. Shot! Denies him! He got all of it! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he keeps possession. And they get that puck down the ice. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Poked away at center by Lindell. They move the puck out of harm's way. And he slides it quickly to McDavid. Can't complete the pass as it goes off the stick. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. They gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. They gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Centering pass in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Hyman. Denied by the goaltender. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick shot. Fantastic save. I really like the save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. While we have a moment, let's send it down ringside with our own Carlin Bay. Robertson's looked good tonight, guys. This was a tough choice because the players were tied in points, but I thought he stood out a little more in this one. Dreisaitl's got it along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Johnston. Takes it into the slot. Oh, what a slick stop by Skinner. Quick pass to Johnston. And he takes a shot. In front. And a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Pins will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. McLeod's won it in their own end. Pins almost back on the ice. Takes a shot. Plus saved by the goalie. We'll get a faceoff after the puck stays covered up. Edmonton's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Dallas has the puck in their own end. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Angles it over to McDavid. Tries to get it to Nurse. From the open ice, they gain the line. Here's a chance. Big save in front. Oh, 
Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. The Stars win it in the defensive zone. Steps inside. And he loses control here. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. The Stars are in transition. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Playing such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Duchesne's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front. Broken up with the stick. The Oilers are across the line and into the offensive end. Fires it on net, and that one's turned aside. Edmonton's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. And they trail late in this third period. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Sends it out front, and that shot's blocked. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Picked off in front. Dallas is across the line and in the offensive zone. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Fires it and turns aside the slapper with ease. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. Well, an impressive win, and perhaps even more impressive, the special team's performance. Uh, when you have a player advantage almost the entire game, you have to execute, and they did exactly that, a reason why they had a comfortable win. Fun night at the rink, and for all of us here on the EA Sports team, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.